I'm here at Liverpool's AXA training centre to meet another member of the team behind the team and discover how they use data to improve training. Actually, I'm not. Due to COVID restrictions, I'm here at the mighty Anfield, but using a bit of technology, I can go live and direct to Connell, who's the first team fitness coach. Hello, Connell. How are you doing, Paddy? Very well. Well, I say very well. You're the one who's going to tell me the answer to that. <laughs> and I know today uh, you're going to be putting through me paces, and I use the word paces very loosely. <laughs> There's a little vest up on the stand over there. There's a GPS unit you put inside it. And then they, they put a heart rate monitor as well, so we can check a player's outputs and kind of see basically what he's doing from a distance perspective, what speeds he's hit. And it is a bit like Big Brother's watching you in a way in terms <laughs> of the outputs, you know. So I'll get that on there now, and then I'm going to have a little earpiece when I'm out there, Connell, and so I can nice speak one. to you. And we'll get out pitch okay. side, eh? Looking forward to it, Paddy. Here we go. Oh, Connell! Look at this for a back four. Excel, what are you trying to say? <laughs> How's that looking, Connell? Super. Right, let's get involved. Oh, look at this. This is a treat. Bang. Absolutely fantastic. Right, gotta get warmed up. How many of the current squad? A 47-year-old with three kids. <laughs> right, Connell, I think I'm suitably stretched, my friend. OK, Paddy, come on, big man. You're gonna fly here. Here we go, Connell! Whoa, he can shift. The big man can shift. I love it. Oh. Okay, oh, keep God. jogging now. Just let the body recover a bit. More cellars, that's six times. Jesus. Right, let's go again. Paddy, come on, come on. Keep the speed up, Paddy. Don't let it drop. Come on. <sighs> <sighs> okay, Paddy, we're looking at your endurance now, big man. Come on, you gotta keep it going. I wanna see you like Rocky Balboa here. Health and safety nightmare, this. That's it, that's it. Keep moving those feet quick, Paddy. Come on, come on, you get there. Don't stop, come on. <laughs> and just relax there now, Paddy, right? You go dizzy going up them steps, all them yellow stripes. What kind of data are you collected here exactly? Yeah, so we're looking at how high your heart rate goes. But then when you stop, then we'll also look at then how quickly do you recover. All the fancy things you've got here, you've got me running up steps. Get up there, come on, Paddy, keep going, come on! Get the rocky music on this lovely montage. You must have enough stats now, pal. For the love of God. Oh. Well, Connell, I'm back and I'm alive, which is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, I suppose the big question is, how did I do? I was expecting big things, obviously. <laughs> you know, for me, you're a bit of a beast. I'll tell you what killed me out, the, the, the steps. Me quads <laughs> at the top. Oh, <laughs> they were on fire. I, I want to know how compared to the, to the players, uh, especially Milner, because <laughs> oh. we're very similar ages. Um, your peak speed, Paddy, 28.5 kilometres per hour. Right. It's good effort, definitely a good effort. So Millie, he's hitting 33. Our, our fastest player this season has been Mo Salah. He's at 36.6. What? So when he wears the vest... Dear me. Yeah. Even though I can see him on the TV and I can, I, I, you know, you see how quick he is, but actually hearing it, that's mind-blowing. We also looked at how quickly our heart rate came down. This is going to be good. Your recovery was around 11% of your heart rate max. Our average for the players recovering in between similar drills is 20% of their heart rate max. So the data shows that you're recovering half as well in between those efforts. <laughs> yeah. But for me, it's, it's still a good effort. You know, you've, I'm particularly impressed with that peak speed. You look like you're more of a speed and power athlete, Paddy, and I think that, you know, you said you haven't done much recently, but I bet you could get that up. This is for good. Sure. You could be my height, man. When I walk around, speak to Carl. I'm a, I'm a speed man. When you get the data back from the VEST results, uh, what sort of decisions are made then? The data can be so advantageous if it's used properly. Yeah. What, what we try and do is with all the stuff we collect, get the best profile on the player possible, and then, you know, try and make him as good as we can physically to do what the boss wants him to do in the pitch. So if you if you looked at mine, the, what would I have to work on? We would, we would look for your endurance probably to be better. So that would mean 
We're focusing on drills more, Paddy, where you're blowing, you're, we're getting your heart rate higher. Well, Connell, I've absolutely loved my time today. It's been really interesting. I've been walking around the place. I've seen the changing rooms, boot room, kit room, but I'm trying to find the lying down on my own having a cry room because <laughs> I really need it at this moment in time. Uh, get, get yourself a cup of tea and relax. You've done, done a great job, man. Yeah, ambulance. Put it on standby. <laughs>